Yermiyahu Jeremiah 4. If you will return, O Yashara'el, says Yahuwah, return unto me. And if you will put away your abominations out of my sight, then shall you not remove. And you shall swear Yahuwah lives in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And the nations shall bless themselves in him. And in him shall they glory. For thus says Yahuwah to the men of Yahuda and Yerushalayim, Break up your fallow ground, and sow not among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to Yahuwah, and take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Yahuda and inhabitants of Yerushalayim lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Declare ye in Yehuda and publish in Yerushalayim and say, Blow ye the shofar in the land. Cry, gather together and say, Assemble yourselves and let us go into the defensed cities. Set up the standard toward Sion. Retire, stay not, for I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. The lion is come up from his thicket and the destroyer of the other nations is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make your land desolate and your cities shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. For this gird you with sackcloth, lament and howl, for the fierce anger of Yahuwah is not turned back from us. And it shall come to pass at that day, says Yahuwah, that the heart of the king shall perish, and the heart of the princes and the priests shall be astonished, and the prophets shall wander. Then said I, Ah, Adonai, Yahuwah, surely you have greatly deceived this people and Yerushalayim, saying, Ye shall have peace, whereas the sword reaches unto the soul. At that time shall it be said to this people and to Yerushalayim, A dry wind of the high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not to fan nor to cleanse. Even a full wind from those places shall come unto me. Now also will I give sentence against them. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us! For we are spoiled. O Yerushalayim, wash your heart from wickedness, that you may be saved. How long shall your vain thoughts lodge within you? For a voice declares from Dan and publishes affliction from Mount Ephraim. Make ye mention to the nations, behold, Publish against Yerushalayim that Natsarim come from a far country and give out their voice against the cities of Yahuda. As keepers of a field are they against her roundabout, because she has been rebellious against me, says Yahuwah. Your way and your doings have procured these things unto you. This is your wickedness, because it is bitter, because it reaches unto your heart. My bowels, my bowels, I am pained at my very heart. My heart makes a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace, because you have heard, O oh my soul, the sound of the shofar, the alarm of war. 
Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled, and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the shofar? For my people are foolish, they have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. I beheld at the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of Yahuwah, and by his fierce anger. For thus has Yahuwah said, The whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it, I have purposed it, and will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and bowmen. They shall go into thickets and climb up upon the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken, and not a man dwell therein. And when you are spoiled, what will you do? Though you clothe yourself with crimson, though you deck yourself with ornaments of gold, though you rent your face with painting, in vain shall you make yourself fair. Your lovers will despise you. They will seek your life. For I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail, and the anguish as of her that brings forth her first child. The voice of the daughter of Sion, that bewails herself, that spreads her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is wearied because of murderers.